As with all of our C++ classes, it starts here in the editor. Go ahead and right click and let's go add new C++ class. I am in the primary C++ folder, so it knows C++ class. Select that one and we're gonna add a character. Go ahead and select next. Give your C++ class a name. I'm just gonna leave it as my character, create class. And as it updates and loads everything, does a live coding update, it will open up your IDE. But before we jump into that, add a new blueprint class, right click on my character C++ class, create blueprint class based on my character. It's gonna ask you where you wanna put it. I'm just gonna put it in the main content folder for myself. And I'm just gonna name this one, BP underscore my character, create blueprint class. Now, when this opens, you're gonna see we're presented with a bunch of default information here. This is important to know going in, it gives us a capsule component, error component, and a mesh that is called character mesh zero. Now that we have all that information, let's go ahead and close down your editor and jump into your IDE. All right, in here in the mycharacter.h file, there's only a couple things we need to add in order to get this done. Let's come down here uh, just underneath the generated body. Actually, these can be protected. So in the protected, add you camera component. And it's gonna ask me here because I am in writer. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna add the include or for declaration or elaborate type specifier? Don't do any includes if you can avoid it in your .h file. We want to add a for declare. And if the IDE used doesn't give you that option there. Then you can see up here at the very top, it just added above the U class, it added class U component. That's what you wanna do when you wanna for declare a class. We wanna make it a pointer, it needs to be a pointer. And then we're gonna call this player camera and we're gonna get the yellow squiggly line because that's gonna tell us it can be garbage collected at any time. So we need a U property and I'm gonna give this visible anywhere, blueprint read only. Go ahead and add another one. We're gonna add a U spring arm component. Again, it's gonna ask us to for declare or include it. Let's for declare it. Gonna add that up there top for me and it needs to be a pointer. Gonna call this spring arm. Obviously you're only gonna add a spring arm if you're gonna do a third person style camera. Gonna and give us the yellow squiggly again. So let's add another U property and I'm gonna make it the same as the one above. And while I'm here, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add a comma and I'm gonna go category and I'm gonna put this under the category of camera. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy the entire thing and I'm gonna paste it right above the spring arm. Over here now in the mycharacter.cpp file in the constructor, give us a little bit of space. And now we need to initialize what we just did and initialize some other variables for our character. Now, if you remember, we got a capsule component for free when we created the character. So let's go ahead and initialize some values here. I'm gonna go get capsule component. And then from after getting it, we're gonna init capsule size. Now this expects two floats. You can see right there, the first float is the in radius. The second float is in half height. So I'm going to enter 55.f and then 90.f. Now this will depend obviously on the size of your mesh, but I already know what the values are of my mesh and I'm just using the standard Manny mannequin. Go ahead and terminate that. If you remember, we also got a mesh component for free. Most people you'll see who do videos or even Unreal themselves, if you look at a template project, they create an entire new skeleton and use that. Well, we already have a skeleton. So, and it's already initialized for us. So all we need to do is set some values if you want to. You don't have to set these. Just like with the capsule component, you can set the mesh values once it's inserted there inside of the editor. But just to show you how to do it, let's go ahead and manipulate the values here. So let's go get mesh, just like we did with the get capsule component. And from here, I'm going to set relative location. Now this relative location expects a F vector new location. You can see up there on the top of the screen. So we have to go F vector and this F vector, let's go 0.f, 0.f, and then minus 92.f. Again, this is based off of the height of the Manny character. Terminate that one. And then let's go get mesh. And then I want to set relative rotation. Now you can see there, it needs an F rotator, new rotation. So we need to go F rotation rotator. And for this, I'm going to go 0.f minus 90.f. This will turn our character around and 0.f. And there we go. That's how you get the values of the get mesh. Now, if we go get mesh again, you have access to pretty much everything else that you need or that you can do if you created your own mesh.
mesh or skeletal mesh object. This is how you would utilize the one that's already given to us. Now you don't have an extra component on your character. Next, let's go ahead and set up our spring arm. So let's go spring arm and we need to create a default sub object and it is of type U spring arm component and we need to set its text. Remember it's a macro, so we need it in all capitals and I'm just gonna call mine spring arm. After we initialize it, I'm gonna go spring arm setup attachment and the attachment where we want to attach this to we want to attach it to the capsule so get capsule component next let's set its default value target arm length so go spring arm target arm length and i'm going to equal 350.f and that's it for our spring arm let's go to the player camera again we need to create a default sub object and this is going to be of type u camera component text macro and we're going to call this player camera and we need to attach the player camera setup attachment and we are going to attach this to the spring arm and that's all you really have to do to set up a basic character in c now what i like to do instead of running the editor from scratch it's always better because hot reload is not very hot uh, it's best to make sure that it's closed when you're running all your variables you can have it open but it's not going to update the variables using hot reload so what i usually do is i come up here and i hit play visual studios is going to have something similar to this um, you can compile it from within there whatever go ahead and select run and it's going to open it up for you go ahead and open up the full blueprint editor and in here you will see now we've got the mesh and the arrow and the capsule which were already there but we now we've got our spring arm and our player camera come over here to the viewport there we go you can see there's a spring arm there's a player camera and let's go ahead and add a mesh you can see also here if we select the mesh you can see we've got a minus 92 location minus 90 rotation come up here to the capsule you can see our values are inputted here is default 90 and 55 so select the mesh and now we can come over here and select the mesh i've already imported the manny skeleton and i'm going to select that and there we go you can see he's already rotated because of the values we entered here he's already rotated and set up come over here to the spring arm we can set this value inside the uh, c plus plus if you really want to but i'm going to come up here to the pitch go minus 25 there we go now we got a little bit of a downward camera compile it and if we hit play you can see that we've got our camera set up everything's looking pretty good hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to create a new character player in c plus plus thanks for watching until the next episode peace